Amen. I'm the tattoo artist. I work with Vindamia. Um, I like his tattoo shop. I started two years ago. I went to a tattoo artist called Kevin Brown. He's quite like, supposed to be like a big name in tattooing in South Africa. In tattooing, I think he was the second tattoo artist to open a shop in Durban. I tattoo in black and white. Black and grey actually. Um, realistic. Although I would love to tattoo in old, um, old traditional, old traditional tattoos and old school, but then you don't get a market for that. People don't want that. Uh, a long time ago, you used to get like um, what do you call these things? I don't know, these new papers or whatever. Um, but that's not like that anymore. Like I've already said, the people want want something that's sentimental, different from another person, I just want something unique, or my daughter, my daughter died or something like that, and I want to remember her by something, so the, most of the designs I do, I design myself, and even if it's a design that's on the, on the wall here, somebody says I want the flower to be red, or I want to change the petals, or something like that. Coolest nigga, what? Dummy damn. FNF up. Dummy damn. Dummy damn. I'm fearless. Now hear this. I'm earless. And I'm peerless. That means I'm eyeless. Which means I'm tearless. Which means my iris resides where my ears is. Which means I'm blinded. But I'ma find it. I can feel its nearness. But I'ma veer so I don't come near. Like a chicken or a deer. But I remember I'm not a listener or a seer. So my windshield smear. Here you steer. I really shouldn't be. Thing is a lot of people who don't want tattoos, it's not really that they don't want tattoos, they're scared of the commitment that comes in taking the tattoo, keeping the tattoo on themselves for the rest of their life. Or they're scared of how other people are gonna react, or they're gonna be judged. What do you care about other people? We should all be grown enough or mature enough to make our choices. It all breaks the skin.